without further ado, let's get on with our first half of the program. I'm pleased to welcome Lisa goff with Wine Antiques and More at the stage. So while she makes her way up here, let's give her a great round of applause, guys. <laughs> right, thank you. Thank you. Right. Hi, my name is Lisa Gosbalke. I'm the owner of Wine Antiques and More in Coke Camp. Did you know that the first winery was discovered in 4100 BC? It was in a cave in Armenia. That was a fun fact. I, uh, I never dreamed of being a wine business owner, but here I am. I uh, started my career as a social worker for 20 years, and uh, my excitement for wine did not come till later in life. <laughs> I grew up in DeSoto, Kansas. I met my husband, Steve, and we moved to Cocamp, where we started a farm. I raised two amazing children, Ashley and Jeremy, and they are grown and married. I have two beautiful grandkids, Savannah's three and Corbin's 10 months old. After my husband Steve passed away in May of 2011 is when I looked at life differently and I looked at it as life is too short. So Steve passed away of brain cancer. I, uh, his death taught me a lot. I did remarry in the fall of 2016 to Gary Balky. As we were talking about our future, Gary is the one that encouraged me to, to go and follow my dreams. And so in June, of, June 2nd of 2017 is when I embarked on a new journey in my life and opened up a wine store. I realized I was quickly outgrowing the space and so in Jan on January 3rd of 2018, I bought the Posey Peddler building in Coal Camp. And that is where I began my renovations and I opened up my new shop on May 23rd of 2018. My new shop, I really like the new location. It has really um, offered a lot more people see me. It's in a really great location. I am at 301 East Main Street in Coal Camp. I have a wraparound porch, and the porch catches the eye of a lot of the lake traffic going by, so I, uh, I have lots of locals that come, the lake traffic stops by, and the, the porch has been very inviting. Uh, a lot of people say that after a long week or a long day at work, they enjoy coming and sitting on my porch and relaxing. Okay. I sell Missouri wines. Some of the wineries that I have is Adam Pukta Winery. It's in Herman, Missouri. I sell their Adam's Choice, their Cat's Meow, several of their popular wines. Baltimore Bin Vineyard is in Waverly, Missouri. And one of their popular wines is Arrowhead Red that I sell. Del Hollow Winery is a local winery in Stover, Missouri. And I sell several of their wines. I have the Lake House, the Knockout Red, and the St. Vincent. Eichenberg Winery is right next door to me, and I sell several of their wines as well, Rosavine being one. Giggling Grapes is out of Holt Summit, Missouri, and they don't actually have a winery. They just uh, sell their wine to like local businesses, and then they also go to like different wine strolls and sell their wine, and they have popular, popular wines is the peach and the white strawberry and uh, the raspberry and the raspberry grapefruit. And Jowler Creek Winery is out of Platte City, Missouri. And, uh, and a, a unique story behind Jowler Creek is Jason Gerke is the owner and he grows his wines in Ionia, Missouri. So I, I just really like to keep it local and having a local guy owning a winery um, I think is a neat thing. Labor's Wall is out of Roachport, Missouri. I sell their Pink Fox and their Soleil. Serenity Valley, Valley Winery is in um, Millersburg, Missouri. It's outside of Columbia and Fulton. And I sell several of their wines. Some of them are Touch of Black and Gold, 
um, promoting the Mizzou and Tiger theme, and uh, Village Secret, and there's Sign No More, which is a raspberry wine. St. James Winery is out of St. James, Missouri, and I sell several of their popular fruity wines, their blackberry, their blueberry, their peach, and their uh, cranberry. And then Stonehill Winery uh, is out of Herman, Missouri, and I have their Norton. Wynwood Farm is a popular winery. I have their Creek Bed Red, their Silver Dick. Some of their seasonal wines is their Happy Camper that has honey in it, and uh, their Pumpkin Pie, which will come out this fall. And then Wildlife Ridge Winery is a local wine that's outside of Smithton, and I sell all of their wines. And, and uh, it's just been fun exploring and finding different wineries. I do offer several events after moving into my new location. I, uh, I found that everybody in Cook Camp or, or locally really enjoys coming out for events and doing something different. So I have Bunko Night. It's the second Thursday of each month. That's a dice game. I have men come out, women. It's just a fun night, a bunco. Trivia night is the third Thursday of each month. And I have LaDonna Meiske. She was a past presenter for One Million Cups. She uh, puts the trivia questions together. All I have to worry about is selling the wine and the snacks. So she does a great job doing that, and that's the third Thursday. And I have anywhere from seven to ten teams. It's growing, so if it continues to grow, I have to look at doing two trivia nights a month. And paint night is uh, something I've done from the very beginning, even in my old business. And Donna Gooch, she's a local artist. She was the art teacher at Co Camp School for, uh, for many years and retired. And Donna does a great job with the paint nights, and I'm really big on keeping it local, so I really am lucky to have Donna um, be my instructor for these paint nights. We paint on any, anywhere from wine bottles to barnwood to canvas, and who knows what we'll do in the future. Um, we paint on anything. I, I do dinner and wine pairings. Hickman Smokehouse is just right down the road from me, and I partner with Hickman's, and they uh, put together the the mill, and then I pair it with my wine. And we're, our next dinner and wine pairing is next Wednesday, September 12th. I have, it's full inside. If anyone's interested in coming, um, I do have outdoor seating. But what we'll do is uh, something different is Stonehill Winery is coming next week, and they're going to pair their wine with the mill. The mill is a thick cut pork chop with a baked potato and veggies and a dessert, and you always leave full. And it, it's just a, a fun event that we started, and um, we hope to have it each month. Uh, Shrimp Boil Nights, I started that this summer. Uh, August 4th was our last shrimp boil. We had over 50 people attend, and it was a big hit. We've had lots of people request it back. So I, I have a couple from Co Camp that are natives from Louisiana, and they, they, they know how to do a shrimp boil, and they do it right. And so our next one is October 27th. It's on a Saturday night at 6 o'clock. And then I offer sip and shop events. And what we do here is I, I get local vendors, and we set up a t tables all over my shop. You can come in and sip wine and relax, and then your shopping is right there. We have anywhere from jewelry to Avon, Tupperware, uh, you know, you name it, if, if you're interested and want to have a table, let me know. And I hope to have one this fall, a sip and shop. I also rent my building for events. For example, I have parties. I have jewelry parties, Tupperware parties, uh, pop-up clothing boutiques come, and in my skin, there's skin care parties, hair care, Pampered Chef, you name it. I've had all kinds of parties at my shop. And, and the lady down the road that is a beautician says, Lisa, you're, there's always a party. She, she gives me a hard time, but there's, it's just fun. And then I have holiday parties. I have several Christmas parties booked at my shop. And what works good is Hickman's Smokehouse will cater. 
and then all I ask is you just buy my drinks at my shop. So that works out really well, partnering with a local Hickman Smokehouse. And then I have bridal showers. I have, I think every Saturday in September, I have a bridal shower booked. And then I just had a couple baby showers recently. Something new that I started when I moved into my new business was I offer lunch um, from 11 to 2. I, um, I serve lunch. It's, my business is open Wednesday through Saturday. And my lunch menu can change, it changes every week. And so some of the items that you would see on my menu would be a chicken chipotle panini um, with kettle chips, or you can have a, a turkey wrap. I have a French dip sub with au jus sauce. And then I also offer like salads, something light. Uh, something that's been a big hit is my Taco Thursday. I never dreamed that this would be big, but it is. Tacos are, are something that uh, everybody likes. I have taco salads, or you can come in and get a hard or soft shell taco. And then Frozen Fridays is something I offer. And it's a wine, I have a wine slushy machine. So on Friday nights, you can come in and have a wine slushy. I have anywhere from peach, strawberry, a popular one is my wine margarita slushy, And then Sangria Saturdays are something I do. And um, I, I offer a different sangria each month. So in June, I had a tropical sangria that I offered every Saturday. July was a red, white, and blue sangria. And then August was a pink lemonade sangria. And then this month is my peach. And then October will be my caramel apple. And then in, and, uh, during the holidays, I have a cranberry sangria. I have antiques at my store, large and small. And uh, you can uh, put it on layaway if you want. And I offer layaway, 30-day layaway. I, uh, I go out personally and purchase at auctions, at flea markets, you name it. I have my scouters out there, my family. my. Between my mother-in-law and my mom, they're always out there, and my sisters uh, looking for antiques for me and good deals. And it's just, it's been a lot of fun going out and exploring this new business. And, and I also offer like small gift items. So I have like anywhere from fun dish towels with wine sayings on them, to table runners, to wreaths, garland, you name it, if you need a gift or if you want to decorate your house, um, I have it at my store. My future vision. I, what I want to see is three new wineries and beyond at my store. I mean, we have over 160 wineries in Missouri, and I just have 12 right now. So I would love to get a few more in my shop. And so that will be fun, going out and exploring wineries and picking those wines out. It's a hard job going and tasting wine, but someone's got to do it. Um, I, I do have a, a yard, so this will be exciting. Is I do have my wraparound porch, and I seat, I seat about 30 inside, and then I seat about 30 outside. And uh, even with rainy weather, I've got the Coke Camp Fair coming. It, you can sit inside or outside. It's just, it works out perfect. I have a roof on my, my porch. But I would like to see um, eventually expand out into my yard and have a beautiful outdoor bar. And um, I also would like to see a stone fireplace. Um, love to have more seating, get more tables outside. And uh, I, I had a class reunion and a lot of them showed up and, and it worked out good, but I feel like getting more seating outside would, is really important. And then, of course, games outside. I, I hear a lot of my customers saying that they finding activities to do. They, they really enjoy coming out and doing activities or dinners. And so I, I think games outside would be something different to get out of the house. And then, as you can see, my past year has been busy but exciting. Here are some pictures of some of my events that, were, that are held at my shop. I have my shrimp boil, um, trivia night, and uh, just, it's just been a, a fun event. I do offer holiday baskets, so, and I have a wooden um, 
it holds wine bottles. It's a wooden wine bottle holder. I have single ones or double. So just when you think of like gifts for the holidays or gifts for a wedding or a birthday, um, I've got it at my shop. I can help customize baskets. Just come see me and we can have fun putting something together. So um, I, I appreciate you letting me present today and uh, I guess I'll leave it for questions. Oh, I, I just wasn't, I was just amazed at how, how everybody's welcomed me and everybody locally, the lake traffic. I, I just didn't know what to expect. You know, we, there's this little town of Coal Camp. Um, my, hus my dad went to Coal Camp, my husband did, my children did. And so it was just, uh, I think AHA would be, I, I did it. I, I feel like it's, it's going great. I, I've been very lucky to have CoCamp welcome me and, uh, and look forward to just keep expanding and, and, and keep going. When you moved, you, you were in a previous location before the Posey Peddler mm -hmm. building. Was the fact that the Posey Peddler building opened up, was that your impetus to move or were you just, were you already searching for a place and just that worked out? I was searching. I started out renting and uh, had a really nice guy that I rented from. I had a, a it was on a, an off street location I found is really important. That'd be another aha moment is location is really important in Coke Camp because you got that lake traffic flowing through and I was on a on a street that you could see when the lake traffic come, but they weren't looking. I think they were just looking straight ahead, getting to the lake. And so my mind was already realizing that I needed to move locations. And when Posey Peddler came up for sale, I jumped on it and bought it. And I just, I really like owning my business. I, it's, it, renting was fine. I wanted to see where I was gonna go with this, but um, I'm really glad that I bought the Posey Peddler and made it my own. And, uh, and then plus it's a location I'm right across from the grocery store. I'm on the main strip. So what uh, proportion of local versus out of town? I think you feel like your business is? I, I feel like local would be 80% and lake traffic is 20. I, I have lake traffic people that, the serious ones that come through on Thursday night and, I, and they stop. They stop at my shop every Thursday. I'll, I'll have Bunko going on or trivia, and they just jump right in and, and have fun. And uh, so they make it a point to stop at my shop on Thursday night before they head to the lake. And so I'm meeting a really uh, nice group of lake, my pop, my regulars from the lake. And then I'm still getting new people. I mean, a lot of people um, didn't realize I was there. So, you know, they say it takes a good three years to really get your business out there. So just being patient and hoping that I, I keep expanding. Knowing where the location is now, how much of an issue is parking for you? Yeah, co-camp parking is very different. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I have a, a lot of people are up and down the street. It's, it's crazy. People drive by and they'll text me and say, oh my gosh, you're, you're packed. You know, a lot of people park downtown and walk. That's a big thing in Coke Camp. You just park and you just make a day of it. We have a lot of great businesses in Coke Camp, so, and a lot of places to eat. So people just park and we have maps and you can just walk around Coke Camp and, um, and but yeah, parking, I, I find you, kind of like the Coke Camp Fair that's going on this weekend. You park and do a lot of walking. You've done a good job of selling me. It's 9 a.m. and a glass of wine, so I'm good. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, so you mentioned food, food sales, wine sales, um, and the gifts, the antiques. Of mm -hmm. those um, various ways that you make money, have you found that one dominates your sales or your revenue? Yeah. 
wine. <laughs> it's like 60% of my sales is the wine. And now that I've moved to the new location, it's getting closer to 70% of my sales. But then food, my lunches have went over, so I'm curious to look at this quarter and see where, where I'm at with my food. I just started offering that in June, but that's been a, a big hit. It, it's, it's a good feeling to see your locals. Um, you know, I, a lot of them walk, and I'll look up and I'll see my locals walking down the sidewalk, coming to my business to eat lunch, and it's just, um, everyone's been great to me in Coal Camp. How do you advertise and do you have, use social media? I do. Facebook is big. I, I, if you want to follow me on Facebook at Wine Antiques and More, I do keep it updated. And uh, my events are always on there. I'm always posting um, and updating on Facebook. I do uh, put it out in the paper, usually the Co-Camp paper in the Plainsman. Uh, I did radio advertise and when I went to my new location. And that was something new I've never tried. And, and, I, and it worked. So I'm learning where I need to advertise and what's working and what's not. But, and then, of course, word of mouth. I do have business cards, so I keep them with me at all times. And, and uh, but yeah, advertising has been a something I'm learning what's working and what's not. As yeah. far as events, it's only good class reunion. What about bridal showers? Different if they get ladies. Yeah, to get together. they do. Uh, my I do have bridal showers. I have one coming up next Saturday. I think every Saturday in September is a bridal shower and it, it's more of a brunch. And what I do is I, I work with whoever books the event. If they want my wine slushy machine going or if they want a sangria, a lot of them want a sangria, a virgin sangria and a non-virgin so we can offer t to those that don't drink. And, uh, and it's, been, it's been going really well with parties and, and uh, having different showers there. Uh -huh. so I don't know a whole lot about it, but the wine, Missouri wine agriculture, are you involved with that at all? I'm not involved in that. I, I do keep like brochures at my shop and that, that relates to that, but I, I'm different than a winery. I, I found whenever I was exploring different wineries with my husband that there's probably about four wine and antique shops. And and uh, I, I'm, I'm different than a winery, but I do, I go around and I just purchase wine from different wineries and s sell it in my you shop. Know, you would fall in that category to be able to... Yeah. You know, yeah, because... Kind of uh -huh. That's something I need to check into and, and see if I do fall into it. <coughs> do the wineries ship direct to you? Do you order and they ship direct or do you have, do you have to go to these I, a, a majority of my wines um, are shipped to me, and I love it, but I have to really stay on it. Um, I have to do inventory every week and, and, and place orders because some of the wineries deliver once a month. Some deliver every other week, so I really have to stay on it, especially with the Coke Camp Fair. You know, I got to make sure I have plenty of wine because they not, might not come till September. And uh, then there's a handful that I have to go get. And that's where I, I'm off on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesdays. And so usually on a Monday, I'm planning my wine run. And it, and it, it works out good because it's just one big loop. And so I just go and pick up wine once a month on a Monday. employees? Yeah. Well, I started out by myself. I'm like, I can do this. I can do this. But my husband's like, Lisa, you're going to wear yourself out. You need to get, get some help. So I, uh, I've been very fortunate to find amazing workers. Uh, on, during the week, during lunch, I have a lady that comes in and helps me. We, we get there an hour before and get things ready, and she's been a great help. And uh, then on Friday and Saturdays, it gets really busy, so I have several um, ladies that come in and help me. I have one guy that comes in and helps. And uh, it works out good, and my husband's there to help as well. 
And with the Cold Camp Fair, I've got it planned. I've got probably three to four people each night helping. So. All okay, right. so I have the last question. So, Lisa, thanks for the great presentation. What can we as a community do for you? I think just getting the word out that not only me, that my business is in Cold Camp, but Cold Camp is a great town to just come and spend a half a day, a day. We do have several businesses that are going to open up next spring. So it's just a fun town to get out and explore. And so just getting the word out would help or have them go to my Facebook page and see what I do would help a lot. Very good. Let's give Lisa a round of applause, guys. Right. Thank you.